Hello everybody, welcome to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. Today we're playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2, doing what we like to call death matches. That's our Twitch chat live. You see them in the chat above my head. Gets the bid channel points for the army they think will win. I'll give you two stacks. There are no artifacts involved, no attack skill or defense skill, no spells, no spell casting whatsoever. And I have to say this now for YouTube because Twitch knows this, but YouTube doesn't. I have to move the full speed of every creature every turn right until they meet the enemy okay so keep that in mind when you're playing at home in this first matchup we have 50 crusaders versus 40 genies the holy warriors versus the lamp boys let's see who takes it down nothing we can do is genies fine nothing we can do about who gets the first strike genies will get it let's see if they have them oh 13 and 13 look at that Destroys half the enemy troops, it happened. There it is. Crusaders holding tough though. Wow, Crusaders took down 40 genies. That's kind of surprising. Our next matchup features 340 battle doors versus 200 fire elementals. Couple of beefy boys battling away. Let's see what happens in our prediction. Picks are in, let's see who takes it down. And this is why we move our full speed every time. Battle doors get the first hit. Because the, the CPU does that. We have to as well. For consistency's sake. The fire elementals are kicking the crap out of battle doors. Oh, man. I thought this would be way closer. It is not close at all. <laughs> wow. If I use auto... She'll start casting spells, and we don't want that. Jeez. Fire elementals all the way. Congrats if you voted for them. You were quite obviously correct in doing so. Our next matchup, we have 200 overlords versus 120 unicorns. Unicorns can paralyze. They're going to have to, because overlords are pretty tough, actually. I think, based on the stats, this is actually kind of close, but we'll see what happens. Twitch's predictions are in. Let's see who takes it down. Ogre Lords or Land Narwhals. <laughs> uh, Ogre Lords might get the first hit. Hey, right, unicorns are fast. Here, whoops, I didn't mean to go that way. That's okay. Ooh, the blinding has happened right off the bat. All right. Wow, Ogre Lords are so tough, man. Look at this. They're hanging in there. Got to blind them again. Didn't happen. Or paralyze them, rather. Or blind. Yep, there it is. Ogre Lords take it down. Ogre Lords are tough, man. They're always tougher than you think. Congratulations. If you back them, you win. Our next matchup is a good old-fashioned slobber knocker. 700 boars versus 250 master swordsmen. Now, these are the upgraded version of swordsmen. Start a prediction. Picks are in. Let's see if bacon's going to be back on the menu, boys. Don't let me down, piggies. Ooh, that's rough. All right, they dealt. Master Swords are dealing more damage, of course. We knew this, though. Pigs are hanging tough. They're hanging tough. They might take it down. Master Swordsmen are narrowing the gap a little bit. Oh. That might be a lead. The piggies do not surrender, and it's not to be. Boris, win. Look at that. No pork tonight, baby. All right, our next matchup is 5,100 goblins versus 55 green dragons. Now, YouTube comments had a lot to say about this. They were like, obviously, 200 green dragons are going to drop 4,500 goblins. So I drastically reduced the number of dragons, up the number of goblins. We'll see if it makes it a little closer. Let's start that prediction. All right, let's see what happens in this rematch of the Battle of the Green Boys. It's like, I'm going to move here. Oh my god, dude. dragons are dealing way more damage. Goblins are hanging in there. Ooh, kind of. Oh, oh, and they took it down this time pretty handily. You needed a lot more goblins and far fewer dragons to make it work, but there you go. Goblins win. This time. 
Next on the docket, we have 300 paladins versus 250 vampire lords. It's the holy warriors against vampire incarnate, evil incarnate, the vampire lords. Start a prediction. Paladins versus vampire lords to see what goes down. Vampire lords get the first hit. They don't allow retaliation attacks. Paladins do attack twice on their turn. Whoa. Oh, they're tough. Look at that. Jeez. Oh my god. Are we sure Paladins don't deal double damage to undead? Oh my god. Paladins win it easily. In our next matchup, we have 400 Medusae versus 90 Giants. Now, normally, Medusae can stone their opponents. I think Giants are immune to that effect. Let's start a prediction. Picks are in. Let's see if 400 Medusas can take out 90 Giants. Giants are tough. Medusas can deal a lot of damage. Medusae. Ooh. Oh, they're dealing, they're dealing kind of the same damage. Oh, Giants are pulling out, pulling away now. 90 Giants, looks like it's too many Giants. Yeah, and there's no stoning happening here at all. Giants are going to take this one down. Congratulations if you voted on the Giant. You are the big winner. We've got another rematch, 400 War Trolls versus 50,000 Peasants. Now, YouTube comments said that I could have kept the Peasants off me for a turn. That would have let the War Trolls win. So let's see if they're right. War Trolls cannot move. They're not allowed to. War Trolls versus Peasants. Let's do it. Again. Now, YouTube comments said, up until this point, I was good. But next turn, I should have focused on these guys. So that's what I will do. Next, do that. So now this is my issue. This is where I was like, okay, guys on YouTube, now what do we do? I'm going to hit this guy, right? Because he, he's going to reach us. They're both going to reach us. We have a better chance of downing them with a melee penalty at that number. I said war trolls cannot move. But what I would do if I was actually doing this is move here so that this guy can get us. Are you screwed now? Yeah, see, it doesn't it doesn't make a difference. So, uh, psych, I'm going to move him. <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could have run to the other end of the screen and just thrown stuff at him. Didn't make a difference. <laughs> Rigged. That time I tried to rig it, I'll admit it. That time I rigged it. I changed the rules on you. It didn't matter. It didn't matter as it turned out. The only way for the War Trolls to have won is for them to walk across the battlefield and throw rocks at the at the peasants. And I'm just not gonna do that. That's just not in the spirit of death matches. Peasants win, as they did last time. Congratulations if you back them again. You're the big winner. Well, there you have it, folks. Changes are coming to death matches down the line. I, hearing all your feedback, I appreciate it a lot, actually. Um, but uh, for now, these are the rules of death matches until further notice. Everything has to move its full movement on its term. Range units usually can't move around the map. We want to have as little strategy as possible. We want to get it down as close as we can to one army against another army. One stack of creatures versus another stack of creatures in their bear elements. Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Heroes of Might Magic 2 Death Matches. See you in the next episode. Bye.